and a half billion dollars. And at the top of your screen, you see Tilray. Those marijuana stocks continue to get a bid here. Caroline Tilray up more than 65% over the past three sessions. Extraordinary. Completely extraordinary. Also, what's kind of extraordinary is how well the riskiest companies are doing today. Today is a day where the credit risk is actually your friend. It seems those the most likely to default, those companies in a Bloomberg basket, have really outperformed the market. They're up about 10% on the day. Now, sure, they are well underperforming. You know, aim at a single um, company. You saw this with Tilray, Beyond Meat, you, just one after the other. And what we've started to see is they move from moving shares to buying options to now buying options and things that are you know, most shorted. And to me, this just reflects on the, the, the confidence of the crowd. They've, they've gotten much more strident, much more aggressive, and, and honestly, they've succeeded at it. So, so behaviorally, this looks very But uh, yeah, these other stocks, look at this, T uh, Tilray, Sundial Grows, blowing up. The cannabis, the cannabis ETF went up like another 5% since we were streaming this morning. Uh, Lemonade, they're finally, finally Planet 13 catches up. This morning, because I've got 250K in Planet 13, this morning I'm like, why, why is Planet up like 1%? And the entire cannabis sector is up like 10%. I should have taken that as a hint. <laughs> here this stock so Af afria is overpaying for tilray okay so they're comparing so like everyone i have biases but i try to be explicit about them so i'm going to lead with that they'll start in canada i've had a totem pole of the canadian cannabis companies okay a totem pole i've, I've never heard somebody refer to a multitude of companies as a totem pole before but i i like it uh, uh, all right, so what's going on? The, the tr let's compare the trends of uh, this company and Tilray, since obviously everybody's comparing the two. It'll be interesting to see. So let's look at Afria, Afria, okay, and then let's look at Tilray. Let's compare these trends here. Almost exact over the last 30 days. Let's go 90 days. Oh my gosh, these companies track perfectly. It's hilarious. Oh, oh, wait. So they are, are they merging together then? And they're merging. So you could buy Tilray or you could buy this company. That's fascinating. Let's see what they're doing today. So Tilray is up 21% on the day right now. Yeah, let's, let's go to the Google Maps or uh, the, um, let's, what am I trying to say here? Let's go over here. Let's do this. Let's compare this. Uh, an easy thing you can do, by the way, and I don't know anything about those two companies, as I've mentioned here, but something, oh, they primer on Tilray. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, let me send that over. Hold on. It'll take a few minutes. Okay, AMC is 15.4% short. They're, they've been pretty flat for the last uh, last bit here. No, no real changes in the AMC short position so and then tilray we said was 23 percent. so i want to learn i i do want to learn more about tilray it, it makes me interested that's that's a big chunk it's almost a fifth tilray's agreement on and that that's actually that's an update from today oh that's an update that's why it's probably up today that's a that's a good news update that's why it went up in pre-market Tilray's agreement on December 16th to combine with Canadian cannabis producer Afria 
uh, in reverse merger transaction will aid its pursuit of reaching new legal cannabis markets around the world. In our view, supported by increased... And I put together all of these things. Tilray, Afria, uh, the cannabis ETF. I think it's THCX, is it? THCX, I think. I don't know. You know, I don't think you could get Planet 13 on M1 Finance, though, because it's an over-the-counter. That's another good one, Planet 13. But that that's home bias, right? Here's, here's a home bias play in cannabis. This, I mean, these are these are some movers and shakers over here. I mean, they've they've just been running for a while. Nine point two percent here. Tilray, though, look at Tilray in the cannabis space moving. It is on the move here. I think this is one of the few cannabis that's actually up in the after hours. See, we've got uh, CCIV ended up down one percent. It's down another one percent in the after hours. Where's Clever? Let's see what Clever's doing. Gore's ended up four percent on the day. It's flat after hours. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Clever moving again in the after hours. Look at that. Clever. Just look at this here for a second. Tilray, 56%. Sundial Growers, 33%. Aurora Cannabis, 20%. The Cannabis e Afria shareholders will receive 0.8381 shares of Tilray for each Afria share they hold, representing a 23% premium to Tilray. Market cap is on this one here, because I I personally think as Tilray and Sundial move, Clever could keep moving with it. Like if I were going to trade, I'd be trading Clever more than I'd be trading like a Gores. Like I don't think a Gores, the Matterport one here, I don't think this is sexy enough to really trade. I think this is something you hold, you hold, you hold, and you hold. That technology as software as a service, uh, Clever. Clever now doing better than Tilray, as it should. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know what? It doesn't matter to me. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I, it's nice when you buy something and it goes up afterwards, but it doesn't matter because uh, downside is you can't buy more of it. And I would, I would add to my position of Clever Leaf. That's another. That's one that I think I should honestly put some more, even more research in. Tilray is not that high anymore. See, Clever's beating Tilray. See. I kind of like that, that the media attention right now is on on Tilray and Sundial, because I wouldn't be surprised if in the short term we get some attention going from Sundial to Clever, because Clever's a better deal. It's a way better deal than both of these, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I haven't gone deep on these, but uh, with some of the recent gains in the market caps on Sundial and Tilray, I think we get some some priciness baked in. Okay, so a little bit of a recovery here. Some trades there with the UK now buying some of these Tilray medical marijuana products, but I would say it's probably the new the new social media frenzy that's really boosting these stocks right now. Okay, you make a good point because there is certainly a frenzy in the pot stocks as we speak. I mean, Tilray is now up fourteen percent, just moved in a couple of moments there. Now this, oh, here we go. That lawyer in Texas who had trouble with the Zoom call during the virtual hearing, yeah. I suppose soon to be ex-CEO of Tilray as it becomes part of this merged entity with Afrio. Thank you so much for joining us today. Look, you guys announced this, uh, this partnership this morning with Grow. Obviously, that has been huge in material to the stock. It looks like it's up around 40% just at the time you're coming on to speak. I have to ask, what else have you got? You know, a foundation with Tilray's presence in Portugal and Afria's presence uh, in, in Germany. Uh, and then an opportunity in, uh, in the U.S. through their... Uh, Sweetwater acquisition and, and our Manitoba Harvest uh, brand and, and products. Uh, I think that you know com the combined company will will be uh, the largest cannabis company by revenue. Sure, okay, uh, I, I get so the, the merits of the merger I understand. But if I'm a of social media play, I believe there's a lot of talk about uh, Tilray on Reddit today. I'm interested as a CEO of a company when you're using your stock as currency, whether it's to go and do M and A or indeed looking at it as a currency of someone acquiring you. How do you how do you cope with that extreme volatility that we're seeing, you know, because of this social media activity, because of the interest uh, from the retail investor base around names like Tilray? Apparently, we've got uh, somebody mentioned here that Tilray is looking into uh, or, or potentially posting earnings today. We got Sundial. Sundial ended up. How did Sundial do today? Sundial was five percent with one percent down in after hours. So good. Obviously, net positive. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 
don't, I mean, nothing really happening here majorly in the after hours. It's pretty flat. Uh, with, the, with the exception of FRX, that one just continues to push. Yeah, yeah, we, we'll just have to do... Uh, yeah, I, I don't actually think... Do I have an interview this weekend? I don't think I do. I think we'll have to... We'll have to go back to real estate videos. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I got research. I got plenty of things to talk about. Interesting. The Valens Company, Inc. Tilray. Oh, man. I still remember the day Tilray hit $300. just like many, many years ago. And I call it the biggest bubble I've seen in the stock market. Woo. That one was a crazy one. Fault. Oh, no. Tilt Holdings, Inc. Tilt Holdings Inc. again. I must have copied that one twice on accident. Truly, Jack Jackson, another interesting one that I've heard a lot of things about. Viratos Farms, Village Farms. Uh, uh, Red at Neo, Fisker, Redfin, Tilray, DoorDash, Lee Auto, Enphase, Churchill. Churchill with a red candle into the close. Let's see what we got. But it, it could be. Mm, okay, NGA, Tilray, Microvision, mm, Enphase, Peloton, Square. Okay, these guys are all flat. There's nothing really happening here. Where's Tesla and Neo? Let's take a look. Tesla. So Tesla at 653. Neo. Oh my God, 41. It's so ridiculously cheap. So. We're going to look back at these prices in like two months and we're going to be like, what the F? I mean, it's certainly, you're not seeing those, the squeeze prices we had at Tilray, but, uh, you know, that's actually kind of relatively holding up. The cool thing about shift, by the way, is, uh, what happened here? Wow, some news must have come out of Tilray. Uh, we'll do the opening bell, and then we'll find out what's going on at Tilray. But something happened at Tilray. That's a big bump right there. Uh, Canoe's almost at 15. It didn't make it to 15 uh, during uh, <laughs> during our stream here or uh, during the day here. But uh, no problem. All right, we are closing in about 30 seconds. Even plug power is pumping. Whew! Very, very stable run today. I mean, very, very, very nice market movement here. Clearly, this is uh, this is what we're seeing. And remember what I said when the which had a big boom out of nowhere today was Tilray. Like, why? And is that a sign for the whole sector? Tilray. Til Tilray. Uh, okay. Pot stocks climb. F oh, Mexican lower house passed cannabis bill. Is that what it moved off? No, because the news, the news, this started running at like one o'clock, not at six. War course uh, down six percent. DocuSign, Tilray, yeah, I got some blood over here. Uh, Peloton, uh, yeah, Peloton be briefly dropped under a hundred. We were looking at that when it did. Uh, for me, Peloton's got to be a little less than probably probably eighty ish. Then then I'd, I'd probably throw a chunk into Peloton again. Uh, Fisker, Nano Dementia, uh, these guys really selling down here. Cannabis selling down again here american airlines open door uh canoe tilray cannabis plays moving up let's see nordstrom moving up again 43 bucks really incredible here we've got norwegian cruise lines and churchill capital up four and a half percent but not the high that we saw during the day at churchill no still not that high we do have charge point at about 8.69 percent of a loss uh, let's see how Blink is doing on, on this charge point sell-off here. Blink's up about a percent. Fine. But a uh, nice recent attempted recovery here. Cost, Tilray, Kappa Microvision. Microvision down about 4% here. Tuscan GTA. Oh, we were going to look at top news. Let's look at the top. Let's see what the suits are reading. It's always good to know what the suits are reading. Freaking suits. Let's go top. Top news. Let's go. All right, so. This is cannabis. You know, Clever, Sundial, Tilray, 
uh, G Tech Holdings. All these are cannabis. Hydro Farms cannabis related. Canopy Growth is cannabis related. The only cannabis that's doing well today is Planet, which is very interesting. Uh, Walgreens down, DoorDash down, GoPro down, eBay. Like there's no consistency here. Boeing's down, GameStop, Bumble, Shift, all of these guys down, uh, actually over 1%. Let's go to all stocks here for a moment. There we go. Uh, Tilray, Faraday, yeah, yep, 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 lots of pain here. Although Property Solutions Spec is trying to bounce back up a little bit. Microvision's almost down a full 10%, yikes. Okay, let's listen in for a moment here. What's this talk about Uber? plateauing as it were but but also only a percent or so from record highs yeah it's it's clearly been uh, granted survivor status obviously through this whole crisis that the company start is leading followed by amc tilray there's nvidia kicking butt again coinbase uh, must have gotten some red candlesticks here yeah it did got some red candlesticks out of the gate it's at 338 uh if and uh i do i wonder if i still have my limit orders uh, I don't know if I still have my limits. I, I've got limits to buy uh, to add to this one at 315 300. So we'll see what happens. Uh, CRISPR. Very interesting. So uh, then we've got uh, Tilray. Uh, Tilray, yeah, again, so a lot of the cannabis up today. Zom, uh, Zom's up today. IBM, Dave and Buster's, uh, Microvision, Whirlpool. This guy's moving up uh, 1% to 2% here. Coinbase, 1%. Uh, okay, Coin, Coinbase actually trying to turn around a little bit here. Cos, Plug Power, Matterport's up a tiny bit here. But, I mean, we're talking about fractionally up here. I think uh, it, this is really, really here. Upstart, uh, Tootsie, NASDAQ, Tilray. These guys, only about half percent now. It looks like cannabis gave it up real fast. Cannabis like, yeah, 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 hey, 420 rally, and market opens, market's like, yeah, no. Clover now down 7%, with Virgin Galactic also following roughly at 7%. Uh, Virgin, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Marathon, and where's Riot today? Uh, Marathon and the, uh, the Bitcoin miners just continuously getting killed here. Teladoc down 8%, yikes. Uh, Playboy down uh, 4.9, Tilray down 4.5. Sort of an acceleration of losses here this morning. Uh, Arkimoto's down 2.5%. Invitae's down 2%. Uh, the, uh, let's see, Etsy's down 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Uh, Churchill Capital's down fractionally here, 0.9%. Neo down a little bit. Neo earnings uh, later today. Uh, I believe it's later today. I think it's. is uh, down to uh, 86. We've got uh, Tilray down again. Uber down to 49. Upstart down to uh, 40, uh, 94. Uh, Pfizer's going to the downside as well, down about 3.5%. Lemonade, Lemonade's under 80. There it is. Ooh. It's uh, running the show today. Uh, you got OGI, Tilray. Tilray up 15%. Roku's up 11.8. Uh, not as high as we were earlier in the day. Uh, you know, a little off those highs, but still very, very good move here. Peloton back to higher levels. Uh, I'm sorry, not Peloton. This is uh, Nicola here, a little bit higher as well. Nicola uh, up 11.5%. Uh, uh, oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, 11.5% here. We've got uh, NGA ran up to 20%. We saw this in this morning's live stream. Gainers, though. Uh, OGI and Tilray, really quick kicking butt today. Uh, and that Doge is, is trying to push back to 69. We'll see if it gets to 69. That's where it did uh, cap off the last time. So uh, let's see here. What else? Zom. Zom's up uh, 6.7. We got some momentum in Zom usually, as well as Sundial. Both of them, both of them, the below their their initial average here. Uh, in the day, Luminar moving. For those of you uh, in Roku, also seeing uh, Tilray uh, move to the upside here makes you wonder if you've got a uh, uh, sort of a cannabis uh, motion rotation here. You've got Zom up, uh, Sundial up. So quite a few of the cannabis plays are moving to the upside here. You've got uh, Piton is up back to 90 right now, moving nicely, getting some good green candles here, recovering from that overreaction.
see what else we can get. Let's go back to the sticks here. Uh, Tilray, uh, Tilray actually having a nice movement here. We saw this flat here, and uh, now it looks like we're having potentially a little bit of a breakout here on uh, Tilray, which is nice to see. Good move to the up here. We got uh, GoPro. Uh, GoPro rotating a little bit to the down. Roku's still flat. Uh, NGA, or now Lev. Lion Electric Vehicles, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm a Lion, Lion EV. Okay, I get it. Oh, Lev. Lev. I don't know how I feel about that long. Like, Lev. I, I don't know. Lion Electric. I mean, I guess it's like kind of like Bev, like battery electric vehicle. Uh, Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, uh, this week in cannabis, new Tilray. Uh, I don't know. There's earnings, maybe? I, I don't know. But here's a cannabis move happening for some reason. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ch oh, I'm sorry. That was from Friday. <laughs> See, I'm still rusty. There we go. That was from Friday. All right, here we go. So the pre-market. Let's sort by the pre-market. There we go. My bad. Tilray's price was, that was Friday. All right, now we've got the pre-market up correctly. See, this is what happens over a weekend. Is that two pages here? Yeah, we are. See, go to Tilray here, and we are at two pages of green. That's a whole lot better than what we had in pre-market when we literally had, you know, five or six stocks green. So we're getting a little bit of a recovery. Nice to see. Charge point actually green here. Twilio green. Some some dip buying. Uh, very nice. We've got uh, PaySafe and Playboy still down at the bottom here, 14 to 11%. Uh, Affirm, Virgin Galactic, HUD8 Mining. Roblox. All 5%. MP Materials, Tilray, Genius, Tesla, all down about 4.75%, along with Lemonade here at 4.63%. Tesla's at 550. That's it, folks. We're going to 100. Cheers to 100. Wait, I got to hold it the other way. I got to hold it this way. There we go. There we go. See, at least, at least we have 2012 Kevin on the mug. <laughs> oh, man. I don't actually believe. Another stock moving to the downside is Tilray. It also is lower by more than uh, 3% or around 2.5% now off of session lows. It is closing a facility in Ontario that may be weighing on sentiment a bit. And finally, I wanted to point out Freeport MacMoran. The materials and the miners have been having a really good run, run of it lately as commodity prices have gone higher. But copper losing a little bit of steam today, and that is weighing on. Hey, Xping. Nice moves here. It almost like took like three or four minutes for the market to open and really get warmed up. And now it's like, yeah, okay, we're ready. Property solution smack jumping here about 4%. Bumbles jumping about 4%. APIs up about 5%. Yeah, AMC's having trouble there. Uh, it's, it's scary when, when those lines do that. But they, they seriously, it got the... Uh, let's, let's do that too. Hold on a sec. Tilray, 8.07. Clove. Genog. Clove. Clove is 39.78. Another stock moving to the upside is Tilray, the cannabis company, up about 1.3%. And this is after Amazon said it will throw its support behind efforts to get uh, cannabis legalized at the federal level here in the U.S. And then I also want to note Coinbase also moving to the upside. Hot stocks today, they are higher. Canopy Kronos and Tilray is percent And Tilray, Tilray by 12.5%, if I can get my words out, Danny. Looks like Amazon <laughs> might get in there, right, Kayla? You see that story yesterday? Yep. Amazon, um, there's talk yep. about maybe they could be your weed dealer, if I can put it in uh, very crude terms. Um, all right. Well, they're, they're also to... supporting legislation as well for yeah. legalizing marijuana, too. So they're going all in here, Matt. Yeah, no, exactly. They're supporting the legislation, plus they... But uh, we'll do this briefly here. 20.71% for SENS. Tilray is sitting at 7.9%. AMC should still be what it was this morning, but I will double check. Usually we update at night on S3. Yeah, we're at 14.91%. It is a big rotation to the downside. Uh, okay, then we have Wish is what somebody wants. Wish is at 10.86 going down. Mac um, uh, cannabis up 3 to 5% today. Planet 13, Tilray. Matterport 
we have Coinbase. Coinbase actually, wow, it actually had a green day, barely, 1.66%. But Coinbase has been getting wrecked. And uh, some more volume recently, though, especially today. But otherwise, volume is substantially down from higher levels of, of the past. It's uh, also one that has been suffering under the latest crypto FUD, which has been and anything to do with gambling. And speaking of cannabis, here's the Tilray CEO commenting on his Reddit followers on Closing Bell yesterday. It's a great base of shareholders to have because they're so educated about your company and educated about your products. It's amazing when you come back and look, you know, what they're posting about our products. Wait, wait, wait. The cannabis guy is saying Reddit traders are so educated about his product. <laughs> That I like. Sense, Tilray, BNGO, Peloton. Yeah, Peloton suffering a little bit here into the close. Workhorse, though. Where's Workhorse sitting right now? 14. Yeah, that's pretty close to our line. Nano Dimension, EXPI, Build a Bear, Tilray, Shift, Playboy, Chargepoint, Redfin, Fastly. Yeah, these guys all all to the downside. Not so bad at some of these, but HUD8 Mining still rocketing. Proterra just took off like a rocket ship. Virgin Galactic still sitting at 4%, pretty soft relative to where it sat early in the day. Kind of uh, disappointing. And then we have, let's see. Hmm. See what Sarah's got. To end the federal ban on marijuana. On yesterday's show, Tilray CEO Erwin Simon told us he's pretty optimistic something will get passed in the next 24 months. I think something happens in the next 24 months. And there's a lot, listen, I think in regards to what could happen in Congress, what could happen in the House, what could happen in the next election, I think it's important out there. But again, I come back and say voters are out there saying we want some type of legalization. 93% of Americans, you know, say we want nine bucks right now. Tilray, it's another cannabis play up 3.31. Affirm bouncing back 2.75% after yesterday's disaster. I just turned 18. Oh, congratulations. That's awesome. Congratulations. All right. We've got uh, OGI, First Majestic, Tilray. Another stock moving to the upside is Tilray, of course, the cannabis company. It announced overnight that it has ma uh, acquired a majority position in convertible notes in MedMen when they, be when they are able to convert those notes into equity after the passage of U.S. marijuana legislation. That could provide a big boon for the company, and the stock is up 6.7% as a result. And finally, one more mover to the upside is 23andMe. It was up 13% yesterday after getting a buy rating over at Credit Suisse, and investors are continuing. Very Good Foods, Matterport, Tilray Cheesecake, AMC, Palantir, Hippo, Playboy, Delta. These guys all moving down about 1% to 3%. Tesla's almost at 1% to the downside. Take a look at the SPY. SPY sitting for the intraday period here. Uh, mostly at almost at session lows.
Tilray, Tilray, cannabis play here down 4%. Look at that bleed out on cannabis. Ouch, 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 ouch. Consequence support some money, and that's a company called Tilray. That's a pot stock. That's a reminder of how devastating these have been to your portfolio. Forget gateway drugs. These are gateways to capital destruction. The six dollar stock once ticked at three hundred bucks, although that was during a short squeeze. Since that moment in twenty eighteen, it's been all downhill uh, for Tilray. Let's see if the redoubtable CEO or Irwin Simon can alter that direction. When Albertson's wallowed in the teens last year, I came out here and I said that the grocery chain deserved to trade much higher. Well, sure enough, after a couple of good quarters, buyers chewed through a lot of stock and it quietly doubled. Now, Albertson's has pulled back a bit from its highs, but I think it has a lot more room to run. Might be worth picking some up Monday ahead of its Tuesday report. Also on Tuesday, oh, this is a good one. Here where we start getting some notable earnings. Monday, you have Tilray representing the MJ sector. Thursday, you have Delta representing the airline industry. And on Friday, you start getting a lot of bank and capital market reporting. We have JP Morgan, Citigroup, Wells Fargo, BlackRock, and First Republic reporting this week on Friday. The week after that, you're going to have Schwab, Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, and a number of smaller banks reporting as well. Remember, the financial sector especially. those that have established brands. In fact, Tilray is a company in CNBS, our ETF. And if you listen to Erwin Simon on Closing Bell earlier this week on CNBC, you'll hear how that strategy comes into play. You can't build a company just built, built around speculation of regulation. And, uh, you know, it's regulated from adult use and medical use in Canada. you got to build your businesses out there. In regards to Europe, we have a 20 countries today that allow medical cannabis. We've got to build it out there. In a company like uh, Tilray and, and having the best operator uh, that we believe in Canada is gives us the exposure to a global portfolio that during different periods, both of news flow and execution around the world, we feel this portfolio has the type of diversification and exposure that investors need for the long term. percent, 12 and a half percent after rising 30 percent yesterday. You can see AMC and Tilray also higher. Uh, Mullen Automotive earlier today, it had been lower, but on the month, you can see it's now higher on the month, up more than 700 percent. So this meme stock mania, it's been returning uh, sort of behind the scenes here. Very, very interesting, suggesting that we may continue to see some bid for some of these growthier stocks. The VIX, take a look at this one year chart of the VIX. Now, the VIX is very interesting because it started to at the federal level. So you had both Sundial Growers and Tilray up more wow. than 20% in yesterday's session, and those gains are continuing in early hours. Matt Miller sounds a little excited, Tom. Up 23% for Sundial, up 17% for Tilray. 
All right, from the excitement of pot stocks to what is happening in Europe, which is much more bland and less interesting, frankly. You're seeing losses about two tenths of a percent across the benchmark stock 600. So European stocks set to underperform U.S. equities as things stand uh, for the week. Of course, you had that deal, as we mentioned in the headlines, between the Europeans and the U.S. on the supply of LNG. It's, uh, it's a process. Of Chemistry, Jim. Tilray up almost 18 percent today. I am so glad you mentioned it because that is the battle. Is it, you know, you've got to make it so it's not a, a, a felony. And this bill, which has a strange name. The but Moore Act. A, yeah, yeah. Uh, would make it so it's not a felony, which makes it so that I've been ne very negative on these stocks. But if it goes through and it's not a felony, then you're going to see that Canopy is going to be. You have to look at their ability to keep costs down. Now, I've said in the past that Tilray does have that ability to a very strong extent, but this one is on a different level. And I'm going to be looking a little bit more into this as an actual long-term trade, probably around the next report on earnings. But as of right now, still a spec trade. We'll keep you posted, of course, if we see new opportunities in MJ or other catalyst hype plays this week in Zip Trader Use Daily Morning Briefings. And of course, we'll also talk about them in the night. up on the back of a monster earnings report the company posting a surprise profit this quarter announcing a distribution deal for their hemp products with amazon's whole foods tilray also reiterating its plan to hit four billion dollars in revenue by 2024 that compares to the roughly 650 million analysts were projecting for this year so Tim, what did you make of these numbers? I, I thought the numbers were as expected, especially in terms of the top line and the profitability. And, and I, I'll say this about Tilray. They continue to be one of the most profitable companies in cannabis, and, and at least from an adjusted EBITDA perspective, that asterisk we know. Texas, please. Glenn. Hi, Jim. This is Glenn. I, got a, I bought Tilray at five. Was that a good buy? And I'm considering buying Hexo if they can get their debt under control. I, I think that Tilray is actually a, a company that's going to make a lot of money as we go uh, national with, with, uh, with cannabis. And that's uh, Erwin Simon, and he has decided to really run the company like a business, not like a pot company. How about we go to Michael in Florida? Michael! Hey, Jim, big book written Booyah for you. Thank you. Hey, uh, so I wanted to get your thoughts on end loss and life loss. Is this a bull okay. play or a bear play? We sold uh, our whole position. First, the first one, and then as you can see by the title, we'll also be talking about Tilray. Both have some nice movements. Of course, we will need a little pullback on these, both of them actually. Nice movements. Sundell levels actually hit pretty perfect. So, hope you guys enjoy that. The first one we'll talk about is Sundell Growers, ticker symbol SNDL. Make sure you guys don't forget, subscribe, smash that like button. Let's get the channel over 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it. So, Sundell, SNDL. Line level is about $3.75 on Tilray Brands. It's kind of what I'm looking at right now. And then for an exit level, I'm looking at about $4.40. So from entry to exit, that's the range that I'm looking at to play on Tilray. We do need some pullback because remember what I showed you, it's kind of up a lot right now. So we need that little pullback. That'll be about a 17% gain on Tilray. So very good gains we can get on both of these. Tilray will be a little bigger gain. So I might go a little heavier on Tilray. It just depends on which one shows that clear and nice buying pressure off of these levels. Okay, so main two levels I'm looking out for Tilray. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget, make sure you go watch the video that I have before this one on five stocks that can have massive moves. Get your uh, five free stocks with more that can have a massive move. And then I have a video on Sundell Growers and also Tilray stock 
right before this one okay so make sure you go check out the two videos and subscribe also let's get the channel over 100k subscribers by the end of the year and make sure you get your five free stocks with momo i am sponsored by momo the link will be in the description also pinned in the comments when you deposit a dollar you get up to five free stocks why not get five free stocks when the market is this brutally murdered so we had two O levels on Excella. Two videos I have before this one, one on Sundell and Tilray, and another one on five stocks that can have a massive movement. Make sure you get your five free stocks when you deposit any dollar. It'll be pinned in the comments. Make sure you do it. I think it's only good until August 1st, okay? So you probably have like a week and a half left to do it. I am sponsored by Momo. Thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no recommendation of buyers, so anything. This for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. That Tilray is an awful company. I actually owned Tilray when it was Afria before the the merger happened, and um, I sold it when when uh, the merger was announced and Afria was going to merge with Tilray because I think that Tilray is a crap company. It's losing money. I don't think that this company is ever going to make a dollar for its investors. And when a company is losing money, you got to ask yourself where how is where is the money coming from? How is that company keeping its lights on? And how Tilray keeps its lights on is through massive dilution. And that is why the stock is down massively. And I don't think that the company is ever really going to reach profitability. In Maryland, Kenny. Hey, Jim, I'd like your thoughts on Tilray. My thoughts on Tilray. Well, those will cost you about three bucks, which is the co the price of the stock. But if you wait long enough, you'll only cost you two bucks. <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, Richard in New York. Richard. And then tomorrow for pre-market, we got Pfizer, Tilray. So kind of watch Tilray because that might affect Sundell. Okay, because it'll probably be a sympathy playoff Sundell. We already had Visa. So I'm pretty sure we can be expecting the same thing off of MasterCard. We got Southwest Airlines. I'm probably sure they're going to be the same as the other airlines. We got Valero Energy. We got Merck. We got Royal Caribbean. Hertz. Maybe watch this one. Maybe watch CCO also. That might be a sympathy play. See a lot of these MSOs in the U.S. ultimately merge. So I think the big thing to look at Tilray, it's just not a cannabis company. It's a diversified company with great adjacencies and great business. Look at our margins today, a 50% up you know, in regards to the cannabis business. And I will take Diageo, Brown Foreman, or Constellation Brands multiples anytime and look at Tilray <laughs> as a branded company. Diageo just had good results. Really quickly, is there inflation in cannabis? What happens with pricing when you're in an inflationary environment like this? A video we're going to be talking about bbig and tilray as you can see by the title i'll go over uh Vinco ventures first bbig i'll go over all new levels now remember how bbig is going down right so i'm gonna keep giving you guys level that it needs to pass first for us to even want to play it okay again i financial advice and let you guys know how i'm looking at it, how i'm looking to play it i know i had questions on this one i also know it's saturday so i'll try to keep it as short as possible make sure you guys go subscribe to for sundale if anything changes, I will update you guys. Next one is Tilray, ticker symbol T-L-R-Y. And then from Sundell, that takes me to Tilray. Now, Tilray is moving nicely also, T-L-R-Y, T-L-R-Y. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. T-R-Y, let's go ahead and take that off. Buying level almost hit perfectly $3.75. The low came at $3.80. Resistance level that I gave you guys at $4.40 hit today. Beautiful resistance came in. Look at that. Beautiful, perfect resistance started to come in. And now you see price falling. This is exactly why I say don't miss a video and subscribe. My new resistance level on um, um, Tilray is $4.60. $4.60. And make sure you don't forget to join the team, willknowledge.com. It's the first link in that description where you get the private live streams every day, my buys and sells, learn how I trade, bonus YouTube videos, kilos on any stock. Make sure you join the team. First link in that description. So Tilray, um, I'm going to move, I think I'm going to move the buying level like here around like four. The video that I had before this one, I got a video on BBY, SNDL, Tilray, all in this video, and the levels are still key for tomorrow. So make sure you watch that video and subscribe, of course. So Palantir, huge drop. Now, two things are going to happen with Palantir. Two things are going to happen with Palantir. I'm going to put a resistance level at about $11. But two ways I'm looking to play Palantir. So the first way is either going to be a, um intraday type of play or I'm going to wait for bigger move bigger um 
is Sundell Growers, ticker symbol S-N-D-L, S-N-D-L. I also checked Tilray. It's just uh, Sundell Growers is literally at that level now. So let's go ahead and take that off. <clears throat> and remember, don't forget, make sure you join the team. Willknowledge.com is that first link in the description to get all my buys, private live streams. Every day the market's open, we have a private live stream. We talk about the markets. We find plays together. Very, very key. Make sure you join. First thing in that description on that list. So that's all I want to go back to. Let's go to Tilray now. Ticker symbol T-L-R-Y. I like where Tilray is. And I put Sundell in the video before this one. So make sure you check it out if you want to see Sundell. But I was trying to wait on Tilray to see what type of movement we was going to have. And we're actually having some good movement. So I'm going to change these. I'm going to put the new buying level at about $4.20 on Tilray. Mindful of that, new levels I'm kind of looking out for Tilray. Next one is Rev. So Rev actually made a move today, REV, as you can see right there, REV. Let's go ahead and take that off. We had a support at about $7.50. It held for a couple days, probably for a week, then it broke. So it wasn't looking to play it until we had that. So buying level, I'm going to put the buying level low. I say about $7. That's where I would feel comfortable trying to play and some more and then i got rev stock uh tilray stock mullen stock bbby stock all in here okay so make sure you watch the two videos the same levels are in these videos okay nothing has changed make sure you watch those two videos right before this one so swn let's go ahead and take this off we had an o-bind level at six dollars ninety cents and an exit level at about eight dollars and fifty cents you tell me did that buying level hit perfect or did that buying level hit perfect this is why you should be That's a potential reversal play on the upside. I'm looking for Tilray right now. I did check Sundell. Sundell doesn't really have anything pretty much clear. Now, gold, GLD, GLD. Now, remember I was telling you guys to watch gold because I was expecting some downward movement on gold. And what are we getting right now? That downward movement, okay? So that's why I say just never miss a video. But I'm looking to potential get some bigger, I'm looking to get some bigger put options on gold. I just kind of, And then the last one is SNDL, Sundell Growers. I did check Tilray. SNDL is just more clearer to me. So let's go ahead and take that off. I was looking for that run up here, right? We are starting to get that run up. And it hit a resistance level at about $2.80 right there, as you can tell. Hit that resistance level nicely. So what we can do is that resistance level has been exhausted. I'll take that off. And now I'm looking for price to go to about $3, but I need at least... away from the end of the trading day. Romaine Bostic, Caroline Hyde, Taylor Riggs counting you down to the closing bell. Here to help take us beyond the bell. It's our global simulcast. Joined right now by Tim Stenovic and Katie Greifeld. We welcome our audiences across Bloomberg Television and radio as well as on YouTube to parse uh, what has been a really wild day, a volatile day here with stocks deep into the red here. And of course, well, bonds also deep into the red, pushing yields higher. We just spoke with Ryan Dietrich over at the Carson Group. absolutely disconcerting. Finally, odd one, on Friday we hear from Tilray, that's the pot company, and I actually think they're going to be able to make a bold prediction about the legalization of cannabis. For the first time, I'm wondering if this could become, a, it's so low, with a very good spec play for the rest of the Biden administration. Look, I'm a stock guy. I'm not a Fed policymaker. But from here, I think patience is prudence, even as more rate hikes are inevitable. Let me give you the bottom line. Fed raised and raised and raised could explode tomorrow now as you can tell the first one will be tilray huge movement pushing up after some biden news that we'll go over we'll also go over sundell growers sndl this one is pushing up crazy too off of the same news and then we're going to go over some other penny stocks like cei this one is pushing up pretty much my levels hit perfect on cei from buying pressure to um the exit so we're going to move some levels around here i think cei could be good for some upside potential so just Get straight into the video so let's start with tilray actually t-l-r-y let me go ahead and write that ticker symbol out 
Don't make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe. If you're new, my name is Will. I give you guys key levels on the stock market every day. So TLR, TLRY. I have some old levels on here, but they're really irrelevant right now. Okay, so I'm gonna put some new levels on here. We do not want to be chasing this. This moved up about two dollars ninety one all the way to three dollars ninety. So from entry to exit. You guys forgot about that one. The second one's going to be Tilray, ticker symbol T L R Y. Very massive buying level on this one. I was checking Stundell Growers, but didn't really see anything clear on it. Then we're going to talk about Venco Ventures, ticker symbol B B I G. It is breaking that buying level onto the downside, so we do have to update some levels on that. We're going to talk about Apron. Then we're going to okay. So that's Neo. Next one. Is Tilray. I did look at Sundell. Tilray just looks better to me. T L R Y, ticker symbol is right here. Um, Tilray just looks a little bit better to me right now. So, buying level for Tilray, I'm going to put the buying pressure level at about 350. So, it's literally at that level. It's going to hit this level tomorrow, probably within that first hour or so. We also had earnings today. We have Microsoft earnings, Google earnings, Visa earnings. Visa went up a little bit. Microsoft.